More condominium owners are coming forward telling us their farmers insurance policies are being canceled due to wildfire risk. The latest, a 115 unit complex in Scripps Ranch. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Tonight for the first time we are hearing from farmers insurance. As CBSA's David Goffertson reports, some HOAs are considering changing their bylaws so individual condo owners can carry their own property insurance. Our total premium went from 50000 a year to almost 800000 a year. Condo owner Dave Sloat is talking about the master property insurance policy on the Village Woods Complex in Scripps Ranch that Farmers Insurance did not renew in November due to wildfire risk. The $32 million policy covered exterior damage to the entire complex. A replacement policy cobbled together on the secondary market could now cost each condo owner an additional five or six hundred dollars per month. In addition to our premium going up by 16x, our deductible has gone from ten thousand dollars per incident to two hundred and fifty thousand per incident. Because of the higher deductible on the replacement policy, the HOA is going to have to use its own reserves to pay for this damage. That happened last month when two eucalyptus trees fell, destroying two garages. But it's the wildfire risk that's to blame. As CBS 8 has reported over the past two weeks, Farmers Insurance recently dropped policies on 338 condo units in Rancho Bernardo, 240 units in Mira Mesa, and 320 condo units in Tierra Santa. Combined with 115 units in this Scripps Ranch complex, more than 1,000 homeowners are now looking for affordable insurance. Farmers Insurance won't comment on individual policies, but emailed CBS 8 a statement saying, quote, similar to other insurers in the state, we regularly review our market exposure and make adjustments as necessary to appropriately manage risk. We're looking into private insurance, but there's a problem there with um, walls that are shared with other residents. Condo owner Mike Calmanero says he's already pricing out policies to cover his own condo, but changing to individual coverage will require changes to the HOA bylaws requiring a two-thirds vote of all condo owners in the Scripps Ranch complex. The bottom line is we're getting screwed by the insurance companies and our local representatives and elected officials don't seem to want to do anything to help us. Now we're out here live in Tierra Santa tonight because the owners of the Via Monterey complex are being asked to cast ballots to change their bylaws, not only to make it so they have to pay for their own homeowner's insurance for the each individual condo, they're also being asked to approve a $7,200 special assessment for each and every condo owner. And that has to be approved by a majority vote. David, that's $600 a month. That is a lot of money, man. Okay, any progress at this point by state lawmakers on a long-term solution to this condominium insurance crisis we're looking at? Uh, yeah, well, uh, State uh, Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara says it's a top priority of his to uh, expand condo complex insurance, but still no word tonight from his office whether he's going to go along with 18 state legislators who are requesting that he raise the maximum on the state safety net insurance plan called the FAIR plan. Still no word from him tonight. Condo insurance owners, condo owners need some insurance answers quickly. David Gofferson reporting for us live. Thanks, David.